Welcome to today's stream. Back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh today. And um, I think we're going to start by playing a little bit of Pendulum. So we, last stream we tried to make Pendulum great again and we built um, a Pendulum version that was very similar to this. And last weekend I actually went to a tournament, a Complexity Card Gaming Challenge Tour stop in Stuttgart and I played exactly this list that you can see right here. And uh, I went X1 in Swiss, there were like 140 people. I went X1 in Swiss only losing to a Domain Monarch and then I lost in top 8 to Cosmo with this list. Uh, I think it was solid and um, we're gonna play a little bit more of it today. There's The, the, the only change that I could think of right now is um, I wanted to play Twin Twisters in the side deck because I did face a deck with... Um, I did face a deck with, what's it friggin name, the, the Cards of Demise, Clifford Anti, and for that I definitely wanted Twin Twister in my side deck, uh, I didn't I didn't know that that was a thing, so uh, it's good. Um, yeah, so for now I'm gonna, I'm, later today we give, we're gonna do a little bit of discussion for Shiny Victory stuff, um, how it changes the meta how it might change this particular deck because it will but uh, we cannot play with the new cards on the end ladder so uh, we have to deal with that it's fine though I also think song requests are on for the day, so uh, you can request stuff. Please no cancer though, just normal stuff, that'd be nice. Yeah, in top 8 I lost to Cosmo uh, because he veiled my monk. Like my hand was super good and I went, uh, I went first and... Uh, he veiled my monk, that was sad. Um, there will be just a regular streaming for Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Last week was just um, a little bit more Hearthstone because the new expansion came out and the new format was released, so it's fine. Just from now on we're gonna play more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So I think we lost the dice but he let us go first, which is nice of him. So I think we just normal the chair rising. Uh, uh, we don't have to normal it, we can set it for rising. I think we're oh we're really we're really low on ladder. Both of them. Oop, oop. So we, I think we need to use our monkey board here because, like, we don't have a low scale, so we cannot go for a guitar to land. This join just to get the double join. Hope we get like a low scale off of that. I think we just go for a guitar to monkey board. Should be fine. So, yeah. We just get the lizard draw, but we cannot use it anymore this turn. I think we won't be able to clear the scale. So dirty. <laughs> so we do not have access to a Draco pal, which sucks a little bit. Like we we don't have much that we can we can make with this right now. I think we're gonna grab Joker for next turn. Is there any point in grabbing a Silver Claw? No. I think we just actually I think we're just gonna Pendulum in defense and pass this. We might, we could make Giant Hand, but what does it really do against most decks? Like, he's not Domain Monarch, so, uh... Yeah. I think we just Pendulum Summon 2. And pass. Maybe, do we keep the MST? I don't think we do. 
He might be Pendulum. He might be Pendulum. If it, if, it, if it was Monarchs, I would keep the, the, the MST in hand for the domain, but he's not because he has extra deck. I mean, he could be Monarchs, but then we don't need the MST for the domain. Against extra deck Monarchs, I think it's actually better to set it too because of return. And he is uh, something else. Fine. Yes. I don't know which deck typically runs that at the moment. Could be anything. Yep. Play at least one second donkey. I thought about playing at least one. It just like like I, I, not at least. I thought about playing exactly one copy just to have it in some situations, but I feel like it's 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 weird. I'm not sure, maybe one is worth, but I, I did have so many non-pendulum monsters already with the triple, um, the triple seraph stick, triple seraph chair, and double monk. Oh, assault dust piercing, okay, that's done, okay. So I take a thousand. Oh, you can add another one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it would have been better in this particular situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll see in a second. I'll I'll, I'll check out the the pendulum uh, support from Shining Victories, and maybe when we when, you know, if after Shining Victories, I stop playing. Um, if I stop playing the Seraphs, maybe I might add like a second donkey for that. Um, I'm not playing Masked Chameleon at the moment. I am not playing Angel Trumpeteer because that's the end rating and I think the stuff is still OCG. But I, I'm going to talk about Angel Trumpeteer later. I think it's a very good card. I think it's a very good card. So let's see how many face downs we ha he has. We have an MST for one, we have eccentric for another. So okay, he has three of, co of course. End phase, is there anything happening in the end phase? No, right? Okay. Oh, Soul Judge is a nice pickup. Soul Charge is a nice pickup. Uh, the problem is he does have he does have time space trap also, the soul charge won't actually have targets, it's not like we run into a strike here. Um, we could get the draw here first, because um, we don't need Lizard as our high scale because we can always grab a silver claw with the joker, but I think I'm gonna start with the eccentric just to see what I hit. Because I'm gonna pop with eccentric anyway, so I might as well get the information. And we did hit the strike. That's bad. Like I would have liked. I mean, the strike is a good hit, but we still have a problem with that time space. Like a huge problem. Um, we might actually have to soul charge just for the. No, we can't actually do that because we cannot rank four with this. So I think we need a draw here. I think we need the draw here. Or not. I mean, technically we can just summon two, and time space does not negate, right? So we can still activate sorcerer's effect. But I guess it's not that bad if we run into into time space. Let's see. We did hit time space. Um, I'm not sure if I like that because if I hit the other card, I would know that the last card is time space. I could like play around it a little bit. Uh, now I think I'm just gonna pendulum summon two sorcerers. Um, I might, I, I could draw first with lizard draw and then put a silver claw here, so I can like pop the silver claw with the 
Joker, but I, I don't think I want to do that because I think I want to pop both skills and just go for. I just I I want to go for guitar till um, lizard draw again, so I think I actually don't want to use this blizzard. I'm just gonna pendulum summon all three here. I don't think there's any because I have soul charge. I don't think I have to play around like another strike. That's fine. Um, sorcery effect is gonna pop both scales. I think Mask Chameleon is kind of weird because Ignister is at one. Like the use of it is, I think, limited. Um, but it's not bad. I just I, I'm I'm gonna talk about Trumpeteer. I think that's a little bit better simply because it's easier to access. Like I think making a uh, Feral Imp is just very very inconvenient most of the time just to get that one Ignister out there. Because like previously, the one Ignister that you would make would mean that. You would get another luster from the deck. You would make like Majester, Dinoster, another Ignister. It would. It would. It was just more powerful. I'm not sure if I like it the way it is right now. So we did resolve our souls right here, which is nice. Uh, we can eccentric that away. Uh, we're gonna go for the draw first. Instant fusion is nice, makes our players look stronger. Pendulum rising. That's dead right now. I mean it's not dead, we can instant fusion if we want. We can actually make Ignister that way. Like we could instant fusion, bring back the sovereignty, activate the rising, and um get Ignister with the luster. It's not bad. I could direwolf first. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, zombie buff, okay. So Norton says, "Vanish it when the this card leaves the field." Okay. So we're gonna we have to bring back this because we cannot tribute these for uh, rising. So we rising in two. Where is my boy, the luster? And then we normal Joker. Uh, we grab another sorcerer because it's a low scale that fits to our guitar tool. Mm. Gets out a master. Unfortunately, we cannot make dinosaur with these, but it's fine. Um. So I don't know anything from his hand, I think. Oh, yeah, he has another one of these, right? If he, I, th I think he searched the same thing. So, um... I think we're just gonna make Giant Hand. Or... Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to go Emerald because I have... Uh, charge is fine I'm just gonna go for the giant hand uh, why play thousand dice because I feel bad playing triple instant fusion with only one northern I think I think you need it as a backup plan it's not too bad you can you can use it to to remove something and then you can um, you can 
pop it with sorcerer. I, I, I have summoned it a couple of times, it's fine. It's not like the best, but I think you should use it if you use triple instant fusion. Even against Cosmo, it's not that bad because it forces the pilot. If they only have like a farm girl or tin can on board and you can force out the, the dark destroyer before you go for your plate, it's fine sometimes. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think we are in any trouble here. Like, he might have Dark Hole, right? Okay, it's fine. We have, we have extra deck. We have, we have, we have scales for next turn. We have a full extra deck. We have Soul Charge. We have a draw with Guitar Tool when we play this. It's, it, it, it should be locked up. Unless you can OTK us with some miracle stuff. Like, I don't know, Dark Hole, Plate Armor Ninja or something. Might as well play another Emerald instead recycling the Norton. Well, but... Yeah, but Norton doesn't always do the same thing. And, and like, it's it's not like you can always make Emerald. I don't know, like... I, I like the Terror. I think you should play that. I, I think you should. So, he's a, his deck is weird. I think against him we're just gonna cite the, the Twin Twisters and the MSTs. Um... Monk is always a little bit iffy against decks with heavy back row because they have like if they strike it you're just fucked. Um, so three with with taking out these I like taking out a rising. Um, actually we don't have enough to side in. Maxi not any good against him now, huh? is it? Okay, I guess we keep that. I think the Thousand Eyes is fine for utility. I mean, space is tight, yeah, but I would I would not play a second Emerald. Like, I barely make the one... I mean, not barely. I make it quite frequently for the one Ignister and the Norden, that's true, but I don't think you need double Emerald. Like, never really. So, last game he let us go first. Not sure if he wants to do that again, especially with a heavy back row deck. I don't know why he did that. Um, that is a nice hand. That's what I enjoy about like Star Seraphs. If you just open a st stick chair, it's so good. Um so once again the question is, do we play around strike? I don't think we do. I think I don't think his deck does a lot of pressure, so Scepter. I do them this way around because I actually want to draw into the uh, the sovereignty here. Because I play three, if I draw into one, it's even better. Like I can just summon it and draw again. So we sovereignty, draw a card, search, sovereignty, activate. Should have summoned that in defense, whatever. It won't matter at all. There's an MST. Uh, this game's over. I don't I don't think he can come back. He has not even if his back row is like the perfect three. Um I don't think he can he can come back. So Do I want a pendulum rising? I think I wanna upstart first. Let's see. Pendulum Sorcerer. The thing is, Pendulum Rising. Yeah, let's just let's just Pendulum Rising. I don't want to MST just in case he has like emptiness. I'm gonna hit the wrong one, and then that might be screwed actually. So, um, I will just activate this guy and Pendulum Rising away. This one. Uh, 
So we we used this sorcerer only on this. I should have played this sorcerer too. Whatever. It was. I was. I thought I would just use it on himself, but I don't want to get rid of him. I want to make um, Delta Rose with him. So we're gonna use it only on Vector. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna get the guitar tool. Oh, Artie looks at a terrible sneak. Sorry for you. Uh, do you have any tips for a new streamer? Well, I mean, I'm kind of new streamer as well, so I don't know much. Like, just have fun, I guess. If you have fun, it's it's gonna be good. Um, guitar tool is a draw. So we draw instant fusion, lizard draw, draw this master. Well, I think we just go for Ouroboros or um, Velteros can pop any card, right? Yeah, so bang. Running sign. Now we can just instant fuse Dire Wolf, yeah. So once again, we just dive off one back row, MST the other, play low scale, win. Uh, so unless that's like, if that's an MST, we might be in trouble. It's another pot. Alright. Um... So just activate this PS4. So we're gonna re resolve both of these. I actually went to a sneak, like. Saturday, I went to uh, sneak in Frankfurt. I pulled a dark planet. Okay. So we can just make. Kind of new to Yu-Gi-Oh, and it kind of looks fun. It is fun, man. Try it out. No cards of demise, please. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, mm, I 
is so bad. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. Oh god, oh god, and other cards of demise. I'm I'm happy we put them to interest in the side deck, man. Oh, it's Cleveland. Oh god. No. Not like this. No. I'm not sure if we have ah, we want to use it, of course, yeah. It will make our um, Draco face of dead, but we only have one in the deck, so we're just not gonna draw it. Bang bang. So, I mean, scepter. That's well, not gonna be fun. Think, yeah, yeah. think. Yeah. Mm. Strike on summon. We were gonna use the effect, so we're gonna announce it. <laughs> you, you forgot that you actually can't strike. What? Effect. <laughs> now he lets it resolve because he he thinks because we know his strike, we we activated it because we want him to it, negate it, so he didn't negate it. Next level mind games. Sheet, but we know he has strike, so we can't really pendulum much. Uh, okay, thank you. I'll try that out. So, hmm. I guess we can just pendulum one and. I mean, we don't have to necessarily. Uh, we could just instant fusion, but the thing is, I want to keep instant fusion so I can bring this back. Um, I could, yeah, okay. This one's actually really good against this deck. Like I played against uh, Pitai in in Stuttgart, and he played the same same deck. And uh, like popping his scales is really nice. Just the, the, the scout, just having an instant answer to scout was nice. Uh, this should go through. There, there's no reason for him to strike this. Yeah. So the question is, do we X Y Z, or do we just wait? Like, you, you can just stall against this deck, sometimes you have to. Um, the problem is if he has another card that he might face on, but I think we lose anyways if he does that. Uh, I think we can just pass. Um, there's no reason. If we cast Tell, he just strikes and we take unnecessary damage from this. And Miss Caitlin123, thank you for the follow, hope you enjoy your stay. So yeah, I really hope he doesn't have another card to demise face down. Like game one against Peter in Stuttgart, he activated three cards of demise in three turns in a row. Like it was impossible to win. Uh, game two and three, I won though. But like that card is just like bad card design. Bad, bad card design. And that is a helix. Okay. So this guy is at 2100 I think, so we take 
300, fine. So we can instant fusion this. I guess he will strike the Norden though. So, uh, cards of demise. Please don't. Okay. Joker, that's not bad. Mm. Joker's good. Maybe he strikes it. Maybe he strikes it. Let's go. The thing is, we can just Pendulum Summon one Sorcerer now, and if he doesn't strike that, it's it's really good for us, because we get going. Really nice, actually. That, that was a good draw. That was a good draw, but if he has lose one turn, yeah, we, we, we are in trouble. And Pirate Finn, thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. Oh, but he resolves. So he, he he's really... Uh, maybe he's watching the stream and he's super afraid of this instant fusion, but it's fine. We get the draws, we get the draws. So we definitely get Gitartle. The question is, do we get um, Lizard Draw? I think we get Lizard Draw with it. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I want to get the draws to get to my MSTs. And second of all, I do want to... Um, uh, have the room on my right scale in case I top deck a, a eccentric Because eccentric is really good against this deck like we have to just grind through his macro basically and hope he cannot refill with um, um, Another card that he might Another scepter. That's another another chair. You don't see me winning this one? Why not? I mean like it's not it's not impossible. What? Hmm. I like Castell on this. So I can run over one of them. I can also double this. It, yeah. Yeah, let's just let's just double this. What what can happen? I mean we do have time, don't we? Because like right now he can't even top deck cards of demise unless he can just activate one of them for nothing. Um, yeah. We just have to find that one turn to force out all of his back row. Pendulum Rising. Um, I'm I'm not gonna use the effect here. I'm just gonna go for Sovereignty. Sovereignty and Yeah. 
Easy, boys, easy. Easy. So we know that that's a strike. Because he showed us, we can just MST it. Um, I, think I, I think I actually want to do that. <laughs> Uh, I think I just want to go for, um, I think I just want to go for MST and then Ouroboros. Let's go. Um, could Ouroboros, could Deltaros? Yeah, Deltaros better. Another strike, yeah, yeah. The question is, does he have a third for our pendulum summon? Or possibly not. We, we can still do more. Like, we still, we Norden. Turn that to hand. Four back row, what up? Four back row, still die. GG, easy, bro. So, how do we. Uh, You see this? Like, super easy. Now all we need to do is Castell in... Uh, we can... It's unaffected by activated effect. Resurrection attack is lower than this card. So it's level 4, so it's... yeah. We can get shoveled in. Take your sacrifice, Surge, bro. You won't win this one. <laughs> there, yeah. Take your scout. Minus 800, boy. <laughs> Chat be like, I cannot see you winning this one. Yeah, yeah. So this was actually really good. I, I, I played it in Stuttgart, but not because of this deck, because of Cosmo, obviously. But then I played against this deck, and it was like actually really strong against them, so kind of good that we have this in here. Uh, monks against heavy back road. You don't want monks. Um, then 
what else? So I think um, Instant Fusion is not that great against this deck because he does have um he does have lose one turn usually. And we guess we can take out a rising if we take out three level four monsters. Do you think this deck has meta potential? I mean, I guess you mean the Pendulum. Um, it needs rework after um, Shining Victories. But I'm just going to tell you my thought process of why I'm playing Pendulum. Also, why I played Pendulum in Stuttgart is basically because um, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing for German Nationals, right? And um, I want to find a deck that I... Like, I think for Stuttgart, pretty much the best deck out there was Phantom Knight Burning Abyss. But I didn't want to play that because I was testing for Nationals and... Um, I know that I'm not going to play Burning Abyss at Nationals because of Winter Cherry, so why would I play uh, Burning Abyss um, for testing, you know, it's bad. Um, so basically, Burning Abyss not good because of Winter Cherry. Cosmo, um, pre-Shining Victories was not my thing. I think maybe with um, Fire King Island I, I see some potential in it to play it, but I'm um, not sure yet. And uh, Monarchs, okay, Monarchs is, I think, if you want to top Nationals, I think Monarchs is the best deck, because uh, at Nationals, there's going to be a top 64 cut, which means you can cut with um, X3 or 2 loss, 1 draw, right? And I think Monarchs is really good at, uh, at, at getting that. The, the problem I have with Monarchs is that um, I'm, I'm not playing just to top, you know, like, topping Nationals is not that, that special and not that important to me. It's, it's more about, like, when I enter a tournament, I'm playing to win, right? So, um... And imagine like top 64, you play Monarchs, you you're gonna you're gonna have to not break in so many matches, so many game threes that um, you are not allowed to break or you're gonna lose. Like that's so bad. I think I think that's such a bad um, position to be in. Like you have to be so lucky to win a tournament with Monarchs. I don't like the idea of that, and that's why I'm I'm working on other stuff. You know, that's why I'm working on Pendulum. Um, yeah. That's, and I think Pendulum has potential. I think uh, it gets better with Shining Victories. We're going to talk about some of the stuff later after we did some games with this. Um, by the way, here I think I, I, I just... Do I just attack it with Silver Claw? Or... Yeah. I can just take this. No, I don't want to summon it. I want to have it in hand because I can pop his, sec uh, his, his scout later. I'm just going to run over it with this. I hope it's working. That is Soul Transition, yeah, they, they play that. So it's good that we didn't activate System Down. I was thinking about activating System Down just to get rid of it, but it's obviously weak to Soul Transition. And there is, I think, another follow. Let me see. Z Dualist, thank you for the follow. And, oh, he bounces that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we bou he bounces it. It's fine, no problem. Um, Do we set MST? Is there any problem with it? Probably not, is there? I don't see it. I don't think he cited MSTs. And LGC Bokdish, thank you for the follow. Welcome to CCG stream. So as long, like basically, if they don't draw cards to the mice at least once, the deck's pretty bad. But if they have one, it's hard. Oh, good that we said it. Good that we said it. Um, does he have another monster? Yeah, no, he does not. Okay, and he does not have cards in mice. Okay, so we, we have a pretty good position. I don't think we have to eccentric here. I think we wait for... We wait for... Lose one turn to be flipped. I think we can just keep poking. Because even if he draws a Clifford, it's only 1800, so he will not be able to get over the vector. Oh, bottomless, okay. It's fine. Uh, I think we just bluff set this uh, painful decision. No reason. I mean, it's dead. We don't have any targets left. 
at least we don't have a target left twice so What about extra deck monarchs? Same thoughts as normal ones. Basically, I'm I'm talking about extra deck monarchs here because I don't even consider. Uh, I don't really consider domain monarchs a thing. Like for me, it's it's just it doesn't exist pretty much. It's just I play against it sometimes, but I don't really. Um. So I would like to use luster for resources, but on the other hand, I also really want a normal summon luster because. Um, I guess his scout is gone, so I don't need master that much anymore. I guess I can just yeah. Hmm. So activate luster. Is that weak to anything? Not really. I should activate luster, just so I can eventually start uh, pendulum summoning without fearing too much minus. So now, which one do we normal summon? I think we have... The, the problem with the Silver Claw is that it's 1800. Like, if I summon it attack, uh, he's gonna take 2100 this turn, but if he top decks any Clifford, he can double. And I'm not sure if I want that. I think I just wanna go for the bigger one. On the, on the other hand, the Master is our low scale. Um, I'm just gonna go for the grind game here. Exodic Monarch with or without Brilliant Fusion. Personally, I really don't enjoy uh, Brilliant Fusion all that much. I think it just makes breaking so much more of a problem. And uh, I, I just don't see the upsides that much. I don't think the teleport, the Overdrive Teleport version is necessarily super good or anything. I just don't like Brilliant Fusion. It's like, honestly, with Brilliant Monarchs, I've experienced that whenever you draw the vanilla, you pretty much lose the game most of the time. Um, I really don't like it. Stealth, we can get over that, it's fine. Uh, I think we're favored in the grind game. The one thing that's a problem is that um, we're not favored if he draws cards of demise. Even though he already has four face downs, what's he gonna do with cards of demise? He's gonna draw three, set one, summon him up to discard the last one or put it in scale. It's, it's not that big a deal. So. Um, I guess we just force another back row with this. And I, I could use Luster with this, but I, I think I want to do that in main phase too. Though. So, yeah, let's do that in main phase too. Let's just force out a back row first. It's super annoying for him. Like, his deck is not made for the grind game. His, his, his deck is made for just blowing people out with too much back row. I am on Dueling Network, yes, and that is Recreate. Okay. So, we can still... Yeah. It's still a double, isn't it? I will talk about Pendulum support, yes. Now the Recreate dies. Because there's no Klee card on the field and now we're gonna use Luster and slowly start um, Grinding because we have that many cards in our extra deck now, we can just grind through his strikes no problem. Even if he has double strike, uh, I think. Do we want an eccentric? No. So there's only one. The grind game is the key. What do I think about Fire King Cosmo? Well, um, I have a little bit of hope in it. Like, a little bit of hope. Ooh, Starlight Road. 
hand. <laughs> nice try, bro. <laughs> Clear for players, man. So there's only two more back row we have to worry about. Easy. Um, we go for Guitardel here for sure and Lizard Draw. We have to go Lizard Draw because we need room for uh, Eccentric. I'm not worried about drawing uh, scales because uh, we're gonna get two draws and the game's gonna go on a little longer. There's no problem with that. Serenity. Is that? Oh. It's not bad actually. Two is not bad. You can summon one, especially the other draw card. It's not terrible. Um, this is gonna be the end of our turn, though. Fine. So we know that that's a Starlight Road. These two are pretty uh, useless too. I guess because we can eccentric one, force out the other. Yeah, it's just like okay. Joker, nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think. We, do we Joker? Ah, I guess we I guess we do because we have to turtle up. We just get the other lizard draw. Yeah, easy, nice draw. Warning. Okay. That's a that's a very valuable back row we hit there. Um do we go off is the question. We don't have a scale, so <laughs> no we don't. <laughs> Obviously we don't. It's fine though. We have time. Upstart. So he has three cards of demise in his deck. That's definitely the draws he's looking for. Uh, he doesn't get them, and but his scout is gone, so that's nice. Another eccentric. So now we start popping. Whoop. So that's Starlight Road. We don't care about that. Starlight Road's actually completely dead in this matchup uh, for him. Just gonna pop this one. There's a strike. So we normal summon a sovereignty. Reveal the other one. Draw a card. If we get a low scale, we pretty much instant win. That is a scepter. That's um, uh, one card too late, my friend. Um, okay. He's pretty low. Like Delta Rose, pretty good. Oh, Delta Rose. Let's make Delta Rose. Um. Oh yeah, I cited Twin Twist. This is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just kill this. That is not the Starlight Road, and that's a Soul Transition, okay. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to attack. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh right, I could have summoned that with this thing. Oh, I always, I have never drawn one with that, so I'm, never, I'm not thinking about that. Because I've never actually drawn one. Nice. <laughs> Then that, that, that was actually a really good draw then, but okay. <laughs> so... There. <laughs> no, we popped it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, I really like if you can summon it if it's a seraph monster. Yeah, I've never actually drawn one. I've never, I never think of that. Yeah, that's correct. Yes.
So we're gonna go over a few. We're gonna play a few more games, and then we're gonna discuss some uh, some shiny victory stuff. In in hindsight of pendulum. All right. That's another good hand. Really good. We get a lizard draw and a monkey board. Where are you at? Where are you at, bro? Yeah. Is there a Lector in this build? No, there's no Lector yet because we're playing DN rated and Lector is still OCG. But we will be talking about Shiny Victory stuff in uh, in a couple of minutes or after. I guess after this game if you want to do it immediately. Just tell me in, in, in chat if you want me to play more games or if you just want me to talk about some Shiny Victory stuff. We will do both today. Um, yeah. So we will be summoning these four so we can grab Joker for next turn. I guess we should do that after we pendulum summon, just in case of Ghost Ogre. Maybe he does run Ghost Ogre, whatever, yeah. I mean nobody runs Ghost Ogre, but there's no you, you lose nothing by just pendulum summoning first. We use our Ignister here, it's okay. We can shuffle it back with Emerald. Magister. Talk about the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, we will talk about. Uh, I, 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 I would talk while playing, but I, I've not actually looked into it too much. F Magister, F again. Like I've, I've looked into it, but I would have to, I, w I have to open it up and read it uh, again so I can talk about it. Like, good. Um, yeah. So we still have instant fusion. Do we use it this turn? I'm not a fan of it, honestly. I think I just go for hope. Hope, hope, hope. Um, I'm trying to think if we want to pop our own. Like we can. Oh, we yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> I was, I was thinking. I think we should have popped this to shuffle this back into the deck to search it again in the end phase. But uh, now I made it already while thinking about it. Uh, it's not necessarily better though because Wavering Eyes is gone, right? It's not. It's, it was a really good move against Wavering Eyes. Now I don't think it's necessary anymore. I don't think we're in like any danger of losing our scales. Um, and we do have a Joker, so I think it's fine. Uh, like we have Joker and Instant Fusion to make uh, Feral Limb to get the high scale, so it's fine. Um, I don't want to use Instant Fusion here. I want to keep it to grind through back row, so we're just gonna use End Phase Search. Uh, I think it's eccentric. I think eccentric's the best search. Yeah. 
just in case he kills our scales. Solid board. Let's see what he's playing. I guess against Cosmo it's not that good. Is it the same guy as before? No. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. A thousand blades. There's a new reptile performer ball coming before German nationals. What do you mean? In Shining Victories or somewhere else? Whoa. Okay. I guess he's going for the big Utopia. Level 4 in a scale of 2. That sounds good. Being able to search. Yeah, that's good. What happened? Why did you go Utopia Ray in between? Is that, is that good? That's 2k right there. Started that UI. Yeah, that sounds interesting. So we have this still alive. That's really nice. Uh, we don't have another Ignis though. We have to emerald that. Um, that's fine though. I mean, level 4 Pendulum Reptile Performable, that actually seems really flexible, because you can King of the Feral in for a low scale. Like, you could before if you played Part Naga, but Part Naga was terrible because it was level 5, so I guess. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't sound terrible. But okay. Uh, I guess we just instant fusion. I like to keep MST until there's only one back row left. I really like to do that. Um, here we, we might actually just go for this because that forces a back row 100% right um, because if if he doesn't use removal on it then uh, he's kind of fucked so that's, that's, I like that he, I can I can use it on this right yeah yeah let's just go for it Let's get rid of it. So now we can just Pendulum Summon Sorcerer only. And pop... Um, we would pop Monkey Board and uh, Thousand Eyes, I guess. Um... No, we keep the monkey around. Definitely get this. And we have to get this because we have no, no other name in deck. Okay. So we haven't normaled yet, right? We started the turn by activating Magister, then we instant fuse it. So we can still. Uh, so this one is from Dinoster, so we can XYZ with it. So we just make Emerald.
Can you target the thousand dice and the equip card to it with Pendulum Sorcerer to search too? I think yes, but I wanted the Magister out of the way anyways. Because it's gonna clog up my, my uh, field with a useless uh, XYZ. Um, I, because I have um, that many monsters, I want all the room to be able to Pendulum Summon anything, so... Ignister... Um, Vinoster and Majester. I think that was the last target for Skull Crowbat that we just drew. Yeah. <laughs> That was the last target for Skull Crowbat in, in every 22 cards. Good job, Emerald. Good job. I don't like F0. Like, F0 is, is good, but the room is just not uh, there in this deck. In non non uh, Seraphs, I would probably do it because you don't have the, the guys that take 4. Um, so, wait. So if he takes damage, he can bring back the guy. Call. take 500 nice so I didn't want to MST the call because uh, there was two, still two unknown face downs and I was okay with him getting this. I, m I might use it next turn just to prevent him from XYZ summoning. Uh, it's fine though. We have all the time against these type. Of well, we, have, we don't have that much time, but it's fine. Who plays that card, man? I don't know what that card does. Mm, now we might get wrecked by the back. Oh, God, the demise. What the fuck? I mean, 
mean, if he has a strike, we are in some trouble, but I don't think we die next turn from the cards we know. Um, we're just gonna Pendulum Summon 2, which are going to be this guy and this guy. Um, so it went through, so he probably doesn't have Strike. We cannot use Sorcerer, we have no more targets, it's a problem. We would like to have that s scale cleared so we can like pop, draw and all that stuff. Uh, I guess we just have to go for the Ignister. I mean, if he does have nothing in his back row right here, we just win outright. There's nothing he can do. We're gonna use this effect first so we can clear the scale, it's the most important thing so we can eccentric. Maybe he has like, if we summon and he has torrential we might be in trouble. <laughs> what? Don't I have a silver claw? Do I have oh, I have a silver claw left. Yeah, I couldn't search it last time because I, I can only search different names. Yeah, yeah, okay. I could have searched the silver claw. That's fine. Um, I still haven't normal. I'm trying to think what the safest way is. Like, I can kill this. Oh, I, 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 I. I want to sword charge this turn because next turn I want to kill him. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Uh, I think I just sword charge sovereignty. Um, Now, didn't draw into a scepter, but it's fine. I can still, I can either, I d I'm not scared of this uh, freaking thing, the, the Cory Bandit. He can have that. Who cares? I'm just going to pop his monster with Delta Rose. Uh, Delta Rose. It was game. How is it game? He has this. And I, I pendulum summoned already. No, I pendulum summoned already, boy. I pendulum summoned uh, the, the sorcerer and the luster to test for strike in the beginning. So I, I, I can't kill him. Uh, so what's the safest way to, to go about this? Like, he has a curry bandit. He said infinite. What's the best? Is it is it giant hand? Is it 
Is it giant hand? I think it's giant hand. Giant hand's the safest. Because even if he top decks Dark Hole is not game because it's only a thousand from the Curry Bandit. And like, yeah, we win next turn because we can make Dweller against his freaking blade thing. Yup, we have scales, no problem. Yup. Dark Hole, Bubble Man, Magician Shark. <laughs> generator yeah I don't get what his plan is like I really have no idea what the point of this is like look at this look at this it makes no sense it just made no sense I, I don't even know what to side against it like there probably was a random farm girl in there somewhere do we even need MSTs like he played so many monsters I don't even know if MSTs I'm not gonna side twin twister for sure uh, it, it doesn't seem like he's like playing a Cards of Demise heavy back row deck. It's more like he plays a lot of stuff that he doesn't care about discarding pretty much. Uh, I do like MST because I saw he was playing Calls and Phantom Knight Traps, but I don't want to side Twin Twister. Uh, Maxi seems okay. I'm gonna just. I, I mean, I have no idea what he's doing, so let's do two Maxis, I guess. Um. Side out Monk in case he sides. He probably sides Valor or Maxi. Even though it's bad with. Both hand traps are bad with cards of Demise, right? So he might not be playing them, but. Uh. So, part of duality Galaxy Cyclone, Demark, Wadoku. What's the name of the site you are playing? I guess you mean the website, it's Dueling Network. Um, yeah, it's du Dueling Network, it's called Dueling Network. Um, what's the... N can you still play Pepe? Yes, you can, as you can see. It's nice. And um, I think Long, Long didn't top Nationals, I know that. He did not top Nationals. I don't know how exactly he finished. I think X3 drop was what he finished like, but yeah, I mean, it happens. It's fine. Can't win them all. So, he took... I don't know, I didn't see what he took. Fuck. Did he take the Waboku? Chat, tell me, did he take the Waboku? Or was, was it... No. Did he take Waboku? Hmm... Yeah, I think I think Pendulum is still good. I think it's still very good. He took Galaxy Cyclone, okay. So we're just not gonna set anything and it's just gonna be dead. I hope we don't hit it with uh I hope we don't hit it with eccentric. That'd be bad. Um, I I kind of don't want to risk him having the attack boosting trap again when I have this. Yeah, 
His deck doesn't look like it would run strikes, so I could just pendulum summon both. But if he has strike, we 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 lose. I'm not gonna risk it. Um, I I will summon two though. I will summon the lizard. No, I can't. I only have three scale. Yeah, he, he plays strike, so yeah, good that we did that. Good that we didn't summon the scepter with it. We need the scepter to grind. Good that we did not pendulum summon both. His deck is so weird. So we know this that he said that he has a galaxy cyclone face down. He definitely said it. There's no reason not to set it against my deck. Mm. I could just instant fusion and go for Castell on this. It's annoying. Annoying enough to the point that. But I also no. I'm I'm gonna attack. And if he has the the trap to boost the attack. No, he didn't. We could have still instant fusion and sovereignty. It's fine. MST. I don't want to MST. I, I don't want to risk hitting the, the Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go Del uh, Ouroboros still, but... Actually, is it better to go Ouroboros here? Because, like, his deck is so weird, I'm probably going to discard something that's good for him, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess... Yeah, whatever. Or Delta Rose. The thing is, if I dealt the rose, oh, it's dealt the rose. Like I'm, I'm all, I'm gonna hit the galaxy cyclone, for sure. But I'm also gonna hit the other card for sure, which I think made this play better. The call, okay. So, yeah, so he only has one card in hand. He has the Galaxy Cyclone pop, but we have to face off to grab whatever scale we need. Uh, I guess we set the MST. Just pass. Yeah, no matter which scale he pops, we can, we can kill him. Did I play test the new support yet? No, I have not play tested it. I have read a lot of the stuff, and I will be talking about some of the stuff later in the stream. After this match, actually, we're gonna we're gonna watch on some shining victory spoilers. Yeah. Why am I not testing post shining victories? Because I can't on the DN ladder. Um, I guess I could play OCG, but that would also be a different format. No, he goes to Utopia again, it's no problem. So I guess he was just hoping that I didn't have any scale, but unfortunately for him, we do have a high scale already. So it doesn't it doesn't matter which one we hit. Here it really doesn't matter. I guess hitting a uh, luster is still better.
course is game. Um, I don't think I want to discard this card in hand though. It could be like thousand blades. So just gonna use Ignister here on this. Shuffle this. I think we make Ouroboros, but just don't use it. And if he has, I don't know what he could have in hand to stop us. You can still banish something from his grave. Yes. Alright. So yeah, I think we didn't even lose a single game now. Well, we only did like three low ladder matches, but it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna open up the... Let me, let me, let me get the Shining Victory spoiler. Shining victories set. Let me get it up. And I'm going to talk about the cards that I think are going to be relevant for Pendulum. Uh, only Pendulum. Because I, I did a discussion with um, Nadir from Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh! already. You can check that out too. He, he, mentioned, he also did a very good video on uh, all the stuff from Shining Victories. That's going to be coming out, uh, so you might want to check out his channel too if you if you uh, want if you're interested in that. Like that was a, I think a really good uh, video. So the first card I want to talk about is Angel Trumpeteer. I think it's, it has a lot of potential. Um, so it's just a vanilla, like it, it has nothing to it. Um, level four tuner vanilla, which makes it of course good with. Um, with this card. Um, then we had a follow, give me a second guys. We had Metallic AXXD XXD. Thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. Um, so yeah, Unexpected Die together with Trumpeteer and maybe you still maybe you still use Decision. I think that's a really good engine because Synchros are the best way to use Pendulum Monsters basically. Because when you Synchro Summon Obviously, the stuff goes to the extra deck, so it's a lot better for your resources than uh, XYZ summoning. So I think, like, because like as even a simple start as like unexpected die, any level four pendulum monster will give you a level eight synchro and a level four pendulum in your extra deck, which is really nice. And uh, Ubo Sage, also welcome to CCG stream. Um, yeah, I think if. I'm definitely going to try out Pendulum with Unexpected Die and Trumpeteer also. Trumpeteer, obviously a target for um, Pendulum Rising. So out of, uh, if you draw Pendulum Rising and Unexpected Die, you're going to be able to resolve Sorcerer without Pendulum Summoning, before Pendulum Summoning and before Normal Summoning. So that's really, really good. Um, like, really, really good. Um, yeah, and then there's another card that I want to... Then I'm, I'm also gonna, let me just have a quick look at all these performer piles. Uh, so level five is already pretty bad, so it would have to be pretty good, but it's not. Okay, so fuck this guy. Um, this thing is is interesting, and this thing too. Um, they they both they don't have that uh, like amazing effects or any like amazing level. Uh, the the reason why those are interesting is because they are um, performer pile odd eyes, and before if you if you check that, um, let me just quickly go on the end. There is not many good odd eyes um, scales. Uh, before, see all of this stuff is OCG, before we only had him. Which means that uh, before with Sky Iris you could not get a useful scale out of your deck. Um, you could only get this which is a scale 4 which is completely useless in performer piles. Now though you can get a high scale and a low scale with Sky Iris. And Sky Iris is of course an old card. Um, Sky Iris is a really good card because it destroys one of your cards, which is basically free in, in Pendulum because you're just going to play this and activate Silver Claw or any, any other level 4 Pendulum, destroy it and get whatever scale you need. Uh, and that's basically like resolving a Sorcerer, right? That's the same thing you do with Sorcerer, just like with Sorcerer you have the flexibility of getting two pops. Um, but this is before you Pendulum Summon, so you just open Sky Iris. Uh, and I think that build has a lot of potential. Um, I think a weakness of the build is obviously that these guys are um, level level one and five. The thing is, though, 
because this thing is a, a scale 8, you're actually able to pendulum summon this back. So if you play like multiples of these, you might actually be able to pull off some rank 5 stuff. I'm not, I've not, I'm not seen that stuff yet, but um, it's definitely not, uh, not, not a terrible thing, right? Um, also, its effects are not terrible, both of them. Like if you summon, it. also just being able to pendulum summon a 2,000 beater is is definitely good. I think so. There's definitely some hope for for pendulum. Uh, then there's this thing. Which is just another level four pendulum. I think it's interesting because uh, it gives you another option for a high scale other than silver claw, um, because it is like if it's in your pendulum zone, you can tribute a performer for monster, negate the effect, the attack, and end the battle fight. I think I think that's necessarily uh, that's probably pretty good against Cosmo. Like I think I would want to play one of these in my deck, uh, even though it's not it's not like amazing. But um, if you just have it in your scale and you have any performer for monster on the board, your opponent pretty much cannot attack, which is nice. Um, he basically has to spend resources in removing this guy with like Slip Rider or something, which is definitely good because it's a level 4. If they remove it, it comes back as a free monster. Um, so I think this is good. Uh, I don't know if any of this stuff is good. Uh, I don't think so. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, Lecter, of course. I have to talk about Lecter. So if you're still going to play the Draco Face-Off version, which I'm not sure if you are still playing it in, uh, if you would play like Sky Ares and all the other other cards. Um, but if you still play it, you definitely play him over a Vector. Um, is he called Rector or Lector? Yeah, he's, he's a Rector. Okay, because like you would definitely do this in any version because now what you can do is you can, um, if you need a low scale with Face Off, you just show this and this. And if you need a high scale, you show this and this, so you have a hundred percent chance of getting your, uh, of getting your scale you need. So I think you would definitely. Play. There's no reason to play two vectors if you can play one of each. Look at the monk. Which monk? Which monk? Monk. Mm. Oh, this one. Phase up. How do how do you want to use this? I mean, it doesn't sound bad in in theory, but it's like one of those cards that you try to. It's like a semi floodgate or something. It seems bad, honestly. I don't know. A morphage. I have no idea about a morphages, to be honest with you. Uh, like, yeah, um, but like, yeah, let's just, just theorize a little bit about about Pendulum, right? So like, the, the card that I think is the, the, the biggest support is actually the vanilla that I already talked about. Uh, I think it's really nice, like it opens up some really nice combos. And then, um, I don't have a build yet for Odd Ice, but that definitely is interesting to me. Uh, I just wonder if it's worth just like, mm. because another thing that I also thought about is you can go into um, Ancient Fairy Dragon really easily with um, with this and and uh, playing maybe Triple Lizard Drop, which also has synergy with Sky Iris. I don't know if that's already something that uh, people in the OCG play, but it's something I just thought of earlier today. You could just uh, if you play a Triple Lizard Draw, you would just go unexpected die into this then you could like there's a join and you could summon sorcerer from hand with your uh, ancient fairy dragon and then you could um, get another sky iris get a thousand life and stuff it, it's it does sound um, like something and it, it would be nice against some other decks right like you can pop um, you can pop Cosmo town grab a sky iris you can pop um, domain if if you can somehow access the extra deck. How do you get coins? Do you have to just watch? You get a coin or like I don't know how many coins but you you get coins every few minutes you watch. Uh, and yes Abductor is very good with Sky Iris. That's true, yeah. That is definitely true. Um, so you you might definitely want to visit a build that has uh, no scepter, no seraphs anymore. Maybe not even the Dracos, I'm not sure, but probably you will, because yeah, you're gonna play Unexpected Die anyways. 
stuff like that. You you can cut you can cut all of that stuff. I don't know how good Pendulum Rising is without um, them. So this and you probably also don't need many instant fuse, maybe one or two still. But like there's a lot of wiggling room for it. Um, also, this guy can turn off domain if you tribute summon him, which is nice. Before you could only do that by wasting your monkey mort pretty much. You would have to pendulum from hand and tribute some monkey board, but now you can do it with this, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just try that. So sky is Let's just try without pendulum rising, okay? Probably have to cut the MST side. This is gonna be uh, not much room. Mm, even though I do enjoy back row removal, I'm not sure. I, I really like the MSTs actually, but we're just gonna try out this version. Um, let's make room for that stuff here first. So, odd eyes, right? Abductor plus Sky Iris is definitely a really good combo. Yeah, we're gonna put Abductor in this deck. So my first impression would be, do you want to run rank fives with this? Actually, I'm not sure. If anyone has a list for this, basically, um, oh yeah, he sent me one. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're not running the tuner, huh? Is there a reason why you're not running the tuner? I like the idea of the tuner, but okay. Um, two unicorns, no rank fives, no. Okay, I guess it's too situational. It's fine. What what does rescue hamster do? I always forget. Mm, it's okay. That's really good if you play Skyers, right? Because you can like set it up immediately. Okay, I see, I see. Um two sky errors, two terraformings, brilliant fusion. Lazuli. I guess it makes sense in this version. We're just gonna let's let's just try this out. I like the ideas of this list. It's fine. I like that it doesn't have instant fusion. I think instant fusion is only good in seraphs. Uh, unicorn. Oh, rip. What? Oh, unicorn. So no die, I guess. No trumpeteer. One vector. Yeah, I'm. I'm also gonna try out unexpected die and trumpeteer. Um, let's just try this list out first. Brilliant. I'm not sure about Brilliant. I'm really not a fan of Brilliant Fusion. Like people are pr pu putting Brilliant Fusion in every single deck, and I'm just not a fan of it, honestly. Like we're gonna try it out, but I feel like this just it increases your bricking so much. Really not a fan of it. I like the ratio of two terraforming two sky errors gives you a reasonable chance of opening it. So he's running What is he not running? Soul charge? Um, and the rector. I like rector. But I guess it's not necessary. I've always liked the idea of playing two uh face off targets because you just don't wanna have a dead face off. Mm. 
We have to cut one card. Which card do we cut? Um, I guess a hamster. Oh, no silver claws. What else is in there then? Oh, the flash knights. The flash knights, right. It makes sense to play flash knight if you play triple decision. Definitely does. Start the rector. So the list is basically the same now, other than we have uh, only two rescue hamsters and a rector. Not sure how it's better, but like, it, it looks weird. Let's, let's say that. Um, it doesn't look that appealing to me overall. Uh, extra deck, any changes? He's playing a lot more straightforward. Yeah, of course, you don't need um, Delta Rose and Ouroboros anymore. Rip. Um, no Thousand Eyes and no Norton. So the, the versions without Seraphs definitely give you a lot more freedom in your extra deck. So that, that's something I really like. Majester number two. And in this version, I would definitely also play the F0. I think that makes the whole extra deck. Anything else I forgot? No. Oh, Seraph, Seraph Unite, okay. Um, I guess we could cut a Feral Imp. I've never made it in this version. It looks strange. Um, I don't know. I would like to give like the focus less on on the brilliant fusion. I'm sure. I've also never been a huge fan of abductor because abductor is like super good if you open it, but becomes weird later on. But it's not a bad card. I just I'm not sure if I like it much. But okay. You need three hamster. Why do you need three hamster? Oh, with the same name, uh, of course. Uh, I thought you could summon. Uh, I guess it would be too strong. <laughs> can't even, can't even ride hamster. He it. So I guess we got just, we're just gonna summon the, uh, that. Oh, you target himself. Okay, because he. Okay, yeah. Then of course you need three hamsters. Yeah. Stupid me. So anyone wanna play? Let's just play post shiny victories. I'm just gonna try out um Almy QB stack. Um It's definitely different from what I would have built on my first try. I'm pretty sure I would have tried out something different. Um I will it's kinda hard to, to build a deck, um like on the spot. I, w I will be building something uh, during this week and then on the next stream we're definitely gonna pr play some post Shining Victories uh, Unexpected Die Pendulum. Um, I'm just gonna host with uh, dual password CCG and whoever comes first I will uh, I will accept so uh, just come and join me. Uh, password is CCG Question: I see you have second chair build of pals, but I see this when it goes second because you have six card scepter effect. When his name yeah, I'm not going second with this deck. I'm still going first. I'm always going first, so yeah. Okay, so.
Too late, my boys. We already Liam already is in there. Um, we have plenty of options. Like we 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 start with decision. The question is, how do we do it? We could get Flash Knight, but I would rather get this going. I'm pretty sure we get this. Yeah, we need Draco Pals. So, can we somehow normal summon Rescue Hamster? We could, but then we would have to put Joker into the scales, which might not necessarily be bad, but probably is. I think we're better off just destroying it. Use hamster in scale. Yeah, I would use hamster in scale here too. Yeah, it's too weird. Um, like I could, I could have grabbed Flash Knight, and then I could have normal summoned hamster. But I don't think that's worth. I want to have access to the Draco stuff. Um, that's a weird link. I'm not gonna click that. <laughs> Uh, so we already have Sorcerer, what do we get? We want to pop skills. Um, so... I guess we just get another one. We get another one because it's the best scale to pop, simply. Simple as that. Just activate, activate. Um, Pendulum summon two. Sorg. What I like about um, playing all the abductor and hamster stuff is the density of your um, the density of level four scales in this deck is very high, so you can always pop very nice things with sorcerer. Um, we will be going for the double draw here, because we will be making Majesta this turn, so we will be able to search Monkey Board in the end phase anyways if we need it. Um, so yeah. Vector. Master. Vanilla Party. Another build. Wow, that look... Triple turtle cannot be correct, my friend, but that it looks something like I also want, yeah. Um, triple, no, a triple uh, turtle is a no go. But I, I will be building something this week, and then next stream we're, we're, we're gonna do some more uh, testing on that stuff. Um, is there a merit to putting this in the scales? He might be Pendulum. And if he's not, we don't really care. It blocks, it potentially blocks our, um, what's it called? It would block our monkey board or our other thing, but we're gonna go for the last two here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter which build we're playing. We just want to get a feeling for the new cards. Um, here's an Ingor link. Yeah, okay, that's more reasonable. Yeah. Ooh, Toon Table. I don't like that. It. Uh, I mean, I guess. But like, you play Toon Table for Abductor. But why are not you? Why are you not playing Upstart? What's your reasoning behind using like Toon Tables and stuff and just instead? Wow, uh, why? Oh God. Instead of just playing Upstarts. But okay. Um, Flash Knight, so much hate. Um, it's not super. Oh God, everyone. There's. I'm just gonna play whoever is there. It's just like there's no. 
So this one has the Maj Spectres, the very small Maj Spectre engine. Uh, Ariadne, I'm I'm not sure how I feel about Ariadne, honestly. Next format. Um, does, do I have to summon in defense? No, right? I can summon attack. Uh, I'm really scared. I think I just want to beat him down. Oh, there's the new mirror force, right? Oh god. Does it also shuffle these back? We'll find out. Experiment. I th does it only shuffle... Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I don't see a reason to commit more to this. Like, he's, he has to have an answer, right? We don't care. Like, we just wait. Seems to be a yeah okay, so yeah it's easy. Oh god, oh god, Jeez. oh it was Cosmo. <laughs> okay, what is this card? Level two or lower? Is that good? Let's do one more against him. Joshua, I think you should play Odd-Eyes Fusion. You can make Vortex using Odd-Eyes Unicorn, Phoenix Plus, and Pendulum. Um, I am a fan of uh, Odd-Eyes Fusion in general, but I think you should... If you play Odd-Eyes Fusion, you also should play all the stuff that gives you... Like, the stuff... You need to play the stuff in the extra deck, basically, to give you a free Odd-Eyes Fusion. Like... Yeah. Alright, we got another build. Ah, oh, rip. Rip. Nice. So, we send Lazuli, right? So, we get anything we, we send here to, the, to hand immediately. So, I guess... I guess we take this. Die intro. I also think there's a lot of potential in unexpected die with the tuner. One thing that I have to st still figure out that's really going to decide if I think it's really good or not is if there is a good synchro that you can make on turn one um, that really helps you. I mean, I know there's Omega, which is decent, but there has is there not something else that you can make that is like really good on turn one, like really really good? I'm not sure. Do we gonna go through the Draco Slayers or the Pendulum Sorcerers? I think the Pendulum Sorcerers. Stardust. This is yeah, not Stardust. So. All good. He has no hand traps. Okay. Um, bang. Um, if I, if I pop this, it dies, right? Let me see. If this card is to feel destroy that monster, yeah, we're just gonna use work on the scales here. We also haven't used a single normal summon yet. Crimson Blader, yeah, that's not turn one though. Um, oh, he missed a link, okay. It looks like 
looks not bad. It does not look bad, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what the ignites are about, but the rest does look solid. Yeah, I also don't see... Like, what does Brilliant do here? It did get us a Master Pendulum, but we could have done the same thing with Unexpected Die, so... It's like, I don't I don't think Brilliant is, is worth it. Um, unless you play... I would understand it if you would use... It would, if you would be using, like, rank 5 XYZs with, like, with like the, the Odd Eyes uh, Phoenix, you know, with this guy. You know, you're using this and you're using this. Why are you not playing more on, like, rank 5s, maybe? You know, I don't understand what the point is. Like, I have an extra normal summon right now, like, great, I can I can do nothing with that. Because I don't need to, because, like, p p Pendulum itself is really good at filling up the board. Effect, effect. Against Cosmo, we're gonna preserve our Ignister. Yeah, he's right about it. So, yeah, sir, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I really don't like Brilliant. Um, all right, we're gonna catch a double draw here. Oh, Skyrus. Upstart. So we can fetch something now. We can now pop our Seraph Knight for Skyrus, great. That's the point of it. Let's get the low scale. Like, we could have, if we would run any rank 5s now, we could have destroyed a scale for to search this, and then we could use our second normal summon, tribute to this thing, and made a rank five. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Like that, that makes sense, right? That makes sense. But the way this is, it makes like it makes no sense to me to run. Uh, oh, great, another sky iris. Yeah. End phase. We're gonna get two searches. Could have made F0, yeah. Mm. The Majestas are going to die anyway. I mean, not necessarily, right? Like, he, he has to have Dark Hole for that. Um, Dark Hole or Regeki. I mean, I guess there is a point to it um, in making F0 right here, but I think you can also wait. Um, No, Pendulum is good. I already explained why I don't want to go with um, Burning Abyss or Monarchs or Cosmo for Nationals. I mean, Cosmo, I don't know, to be honest. I have to look into... Um, I have to look over the combos with, with Fire King Island. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm interested in testing that out. But overall, like, yeah. 
I mean, for everyone who, who wasn't around... Wow, Kuri Bandit. Uh, for everyone who wasn't around earlier in the stream, I said that um, I think Burning Abyss is not good for Nationals because of um, Winter Blossom, basically. It's gonna just make the win rate of the deck overall drop too much. Then uh, Monarchs are the best deck if you want to top. But, um... Oh, that's why he's also running the telekinetic thing. Okay, interesting. Um, monarchs are good for topping, right? Because for nationals, at least German nationals, we have like a thousand players, top 64, and it's always like you go top, you top if you go x3 or two loss, one draw. Um... So, um, what was I going to say? I'm, I'm not trying to focus on the game too. Um, like for topping, I think Monarch is the best because it's definitely, it's, it's not a very consistent deck. It breaks a lot, but um, it does, it is consistent enough and good enough to get you an X3 record very, very safely, I think. Um, XYZ Monarch, that is. But... Um, I'm not playing nationals to top, I'm playing nationals to win, and like, that is like something that I think monarchs cannot really do um, well enough. Because then it's like, I'm, I'm gonna be in top 64, and then I'm going to play, and it's going to be like a game 3 or something, and if I, if I break game 3, I'm out, and the same in top 32, is top 16, it's like too often. It's too many matches where you are not, you cannot afford to break in order to win an event. It's just like it doesn't happen consistently enough with monarchs. So, see, keeping the majestics around was really nice because now I can use them again. I have like infinite resources this turn. When is German Nationals? German Nationals is in four weeks. Four weeks. Yep. 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 So what I'm trying to say with that is I'm not going to play Cosmo, probably. I'm not going to play Monarchs. I'm not going to play Burning Abyss. What is left is some sort of Pendulum. And, um... Can Alpai play again at Nationals? I have no idea how long his ban, uh, his ban is. I've, I don't know. Uh, let's just play another Skyris so he cannot target any... Oh, he... <laughs> there was two things, like he cannot target Turtle and he cannot... It cannot be destroyed by Dinoster. Yeah, where's, where's my... Am I, what am I thinking? What was I thinking? Um, so yeah, we have resources for days this game. Unfortunately, only one Ignista though. So we haven't even Pendulum summoned yet, so we're just gonna make F02. Uh, monkey. Pearl. Like, we have everything, there's no way we lose this game. Face off 2. Jesus Christ. Oop. Look at our extra deck.
Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with these and I mean uh, This, this, and I think this. Uh, why exactly won't I play Cosmo? Um, well, I'm not gonna play Cosmo if it is like this, right? I don't think it's very good at the moment. Um, let me think. How do we get over this Dark Destroyer? Uh, I think Cosmo at the moment is way is too helmet. It's not strong enough. Um, I'm, it might be strong enough with the with the um, Fire King combos. I have actually not looked into it enough to to judge that yet. Wait, no. Wrong. Um I don't think can we get over it? We can dwell here. Yeah. Well, it's only gonna be seventeen hundred damage, but it's fine. Oh right, we didn't even use. We have so much. We haven't even used monkey yet. It's insane. show us yeah I mean mm, there's a lot of potential in uh, in all of this like I, I think Pendulum has the potential to, to be the best deck. That's, I, I truly believe that. Um, like, just look at look at what we can do if we if you just still do the stuff that was there before, um, without wavering, without all that stuff. Um, it just there has to be an ideal build that has to be found, and that is definitely I think it's going to be the best deck. I think it is. Um, like I think at the moment people are just too lazy. To, to find the best deck like people just play uh, monarchs or uh, burning abyss or cosmo because like they like their helmets and they they, they have them strapped on tight and um, I'm not sure how much I like this this and this and also this um, Um, yeah, the, the, the one thing that really sticks out to me the most out of the new set is being able to play, like, this card, it's really good, right? 
um, because it makes pretty much every opening uh, better. Um, but before it was just like all it would do would is give you master, and master was good, but decision did that better, you know. But with with a tuner, trumpet team, trump, trump. Um, I think with this, it, it has a lot of potential. Um, maybe without the all ice guys. Let's just build some some shenanigans. So for testing purposes, we're going to throw in three unexpected. I think that's too much. I think two is fine, but let's just for testing purposes, for testing sake. And also, fuck that hamster, especially. That card is terrible. Um, and that. Silver Claw is my boy. Um, even though we might be, we might want to put a fire flux. Mm. I'm still a fan of Pendulum Rising, especially if you play like that, this and this. Um, we should pl consider at least like two instant fusions. Let's let's go. Two dice, more realistic. This, this, and this. Let's see what I got sent. Okay. I actually like the idea of treasures again. I want to try it out again. Um, Let's do that. Let's try treasures. Let's also put in a rector. Other performal pals out there. Is he? Uh, no. That's shit. Bull bulldog. There's so many performer pals, man. Why did why do they do so many performer pals? Reddish horse. Swinging cobra. Um, when does this come out? It comes out in, in a structure, right? This is also interesting. Um, because it's a reptile level 4. Like, anything that's level 4 pendulum is really underrated. I see people in chat already asking, why would you play Fireflux? Because level 4 pendulum is really good no matter what the effect is like there's a reason why I, I usually play at least two silver claw in all of my decks because everything that's a level four pendulum is an optimal scale you know like you want to have level four scales as much as possible because that's the best stuff to pop with sorcerer um anything you pop that's level four with sorcerer is basically a free card because it's going to return from the exo it's really good for resource management which is also why Fireflux, I think, is good. And um, this thing, I think, is especially good because it's a level 2, uh, a scale 2. Scale 2 is better than scale 3, obviously, because um, um, because you are also able to bring back Lizard Draws and, and Eccentrics, which is nice. So I, I think uh, if this is coming out before Nationals, I would seriously consider one of them. Like, I would probably only play one Silver Claw because you don't want to have that many level 4s and maybe play a split of like one silver claw, one fire flux, one swing cobra. You know, because fire flux, maybe you just play two silver claw instead of fire flux, but fire flux has some applications because its effect is not bad, you know. So I can definitely see running it like this. Huh? With um, 
Feral Imp. Uh, without Feral Imp, of course, you would not play this guy because he's just strictly worse than uh, this stuff. Yeah. Performer Paul Parrots. What's that? That's really good, yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can be low and high scale is definitely not bad. Um, we will not get them before nationals, won't we? I thought someone wrote earlier that we would, but okay. Um, yeah, let's just play without the structure deck stuff. So we play, uh, let's just do two silver claws. I like silver claw a lot. And with without the Saravs, I think we should be going for a second donkey twice for rising. Um, we have a lot of ways to turn rising on because we can do it with die too and decision. We can get trumpeteer. And honestly, I really liked MSTs when, when playing the deck uh, before, but I'm not sure without monks, I'm not sure if it's worth. But I really like it because it's really good at grinding through back row. I really enjoyed MST. Um, what else? Let's see if I missed anything. Abductor, not very good in our version, I think. He's asking if two dwellers is not too much after shining victories, and yeah, I mean, I took the extra deck from uh, the list that the other that that Almikubi sent me, but like, I think dweller is more like good against Cosmo than it's actually good against. Uh, deck. But yeah, we we have to put in Rafflesia, of course. Um, we're also gonna take out the Feral Imp for now because we don't have the extra deck, the the guy, the other guy. Soul Charge, Rabbit, one more Turtle and Lizard. I'm really not a fan of two uh, Turtles and Triple Lizard. Like, I've, I've just I've experimented with every different ratio and I just always like two Lizard, one Turtle the best. Um, yeah, that's really how it is. This may be interesting, you know, Raccoon and Kirin. That might be interesting. Which scales do we have though in this one? No, we don't have... High skills for Kirin. Tried out number one and number seventy seven. What's that? Eighty one. Whoa, what's that? How do you make that? So definitely Omega. What? Let, let, uh, give me a second. I, will, I have I have to read all. Let's do it without Rafflesia for extra space first. So monster. Three pages, man. That's not many. Thought there was more. You can't do the dark. No, it's not dark. Why giant hand? I guess we might. I guess we could cut giant hand. That's that's a good. That's a good point. We could cut giant hand and still play treacherous and Rafflesia. I like that. I like that. Yeah. 
Scarlight. Scarlight is a good one, yeah. Can't even spell Scarlight. So, but what do we take out? I don't. I want to. I... I guess. All right, we have to fill up the main deck to the end. Do we want to put Soul Charge in this? Um, yeah, I guess Soul Charge is reasonable. If you play like the Tuner, it's also good with Donkey. If you open Soul Charge, Donkey is pretty nuts. Mm. I guess you could play Monk in this version because you have that many spells. But Monk is a weird card. I, I think you only you should only play Monk if you really have to. Like in Seraph version, you you just have to have Monk. The deck makes no sense without Monk. I feel Rabbit is good. Yeah, Rabbit is good, but we only have one vector, so it gets kind of weird. You want to play Abductor? Abductor. With 12 spells, you want to play Triple Up Doctor. I'm not like, I don't like it too much. Um, cut an eccentric and add two MSTs. I would never play MSTs before I play Triple Eccentric. Like, play always Triple Eccentric. Then you can think about additional MSTs, but Triple Eccentric is just really good. I think Triple Eccentric is. Regeki, I don't like Regeki. Regeki is like. Um, Regeki is not very good, I think. Um, Flash Knight, no man. No, no. How about more Pendulum Monsters to make the donkey better? Like, live more often? We could play a second vector and rabbit. Second vector. Maybe we just don't play Rector because of rabbit. Mm, like that. I mean, Rector is nice, but. You, I don't want to play rabbit with, with that random. Yeah. Another fire flux, nah, nah. Um, yeah, I think second vector makes sense with rabbit, but I don't want to run rector as well. Uh, more trap holes. Not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of it. I've tried it before. It just clogs your hand. You don't. You never want to draw a trap hole. Uh, I guess if you draw the one three trees, it's fine, right? But the other ones, you never want to draw, pretty much. So what else is there? Let's just check those lists again. We could play. We could try abductor. Not a fan of it. We could try to incorporate um, counter traps. But I think the focus of this deck should be more on like turn one Omega and like Omega Rafflesia is like a really solid opening. Maxi's main, yeah, Maxi's not terrible, but because you want to go first, I think you should not be maining Maxi's. Mm. It, it really helps against the, the Fire King Cosmo, that's true though. Um, we could just try out a third unexpected die, because you technically want to open it every time. Let's just try three for the sake of testing and then... Bottomless over Treacherous because of Cosmo? Nah. The, the problem with bottomless is just it's too bad if you draw it. Um, Swing Cobra, yeah, but Swing Cobra is not in Shining Victories. Swing Cobra is not in Shining Let me check when that comes out. Wait. Rip, 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 rip.
What about Summoner Monk? Yeah, I've already, I already talked about it. I don't like Summoner Monk in this because uh, Summoner Monk is like a really all-in type of card that I would I only play it when I have to. Like in the Seraph versions, I had to play it because it makes a lot more sense if you play Seraphs as well. Like it makes some of your openings really nuts. Um, I'm just not sure if I like it in this one where you don't necessarily have to play it. Third instant to open it? No, you don't want to open instant. Instant is only like the like on top, you know. I think with without seraphs, two is a fine number. Starter deck end of May, end of May. Uh, let me see. Um, TCG sets no show. Starter deck Yuya. What's the release date? May. 26 um, May 26 I think that's the Friday before nationals is that the Friday before nationals is that is that even a Friday <laughs> I think that's the Friday before nationals yeah yeah so it would be legal for our nationals Okay. Thursday. Okay. Oh, Nats are 28th. Okay. Okay. So that's l legal for Nats. Um, we would have to add Feral Imp, though. We would have to add a Feral Imp, indeed, for it. Um, yeah, that's right. Then the releases are always on uh, on Thursdays. What about the big monster of Performer Pods? Who do you mean? Who's the big one? Is there even a big one? There's a big one. King Bear? Slight Hand Magician? Why would you play that? That's terrible. Like... It would maybe it would be okay if you could tribute a pendulum monster, but you cannot tribute a pendulum monster for it. That's, that makes it bad. Um, ah, whatever. We're just gonna put in a third donkey. Just play everything three times to see how it works. All right, let's play. Let's just play. Dual password, CCG, whoever's first will play it. Yeah, easy. I'll make you be. Okay. This hand is not bad, the only problem is that we cannot go for a... Nah! We cannot go for a... Sorcerer Resolve first turn. It's fine though, we can do like... The whole spectrum of Draco Slayers, I think. Tails, never luster. Where's the hashtag? We can get the second vector out of the way because it's kind of bad.
We don't have any more face offs, so who cares? Do this before, that's really good. Activate scale, pendulum four. Brup, brup, brup. Play the high chain fire. So no, there was no difference. We 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 want to play the the thing in the scale anyways with face off. So no point. Shenanigans happening. Uh, we, we, we were gonna we we're gonna do another match. It's only like almost almost eleven. Uh, we're gonna do one more match after this one. He's Pendulum, so we might want to keep Vector and Dinoster together. That is really hard for him to kill. Because it will... Um, maybe Vector plus... Vector plus... Uh, let's, let's, make, let's make the guy. Vector plus Hope is also really hard to get rid of. Um, end phase. Angel Trumpeteer, we play that because of unexpected die. I think it's really good. If we had a sorcerer instead of any other pendulum, um, this start would have been insane because we could have gone for a double draw too. Let's do a full match. And another follow by V J E K O X B O G. Thank you for the follow, man. Um. Mm, Thank you for the follow. Okay, no side. And Trunks97 also, thank you for the follow. Welcome to CCG stream. Okay, show us the abductor combos, man. Show us. Yay. And you can also get back Trumpeteer with Digust or Emerald. Yeah, that's actually not that far off. Like, you do that sometimes. Like, I've already used um, Emerald on, like, Vector and master a couple of times I think if it, if it if you have a tuner as well you would do it a, mo a lot more often so here yeah this is optimal opening I think with these two it's probably just gonna get a sorcerer or joker and phantasma stalker also thank you for the follow thanks so much guys welcome to the stream
thinking, yeah man, you have all the time in the world. Take your time, bro. Normal summons master. Okay. Normal second normal flash knight, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, nice. To be fair though, his open is not much stronger than just having a second donkey in hand to grab your sorcerer. It's just like at this point he has so much that he doesn't even need to have like the extra normal summon, the extra monsters from making this. See, he's not even using all his potential resources that he created. Um, he doesn't even need it. You know? So I'm not sure if, if if you need to go hard on that uh, because if he if that card was his fifth card, like his t entire hand would have sucked basically. You know, while if my fifth card is like a donkey or something. It's usually gonna make my hand better. Um, it's just like less potential for breaking. I think you should avoid that if you want to win a tournament. So he's gonna grab turtle and um, monkey here. I think he's gonna play. Yeah, he's gonna play turtle, lizard, draw, use to draw, then activate monkey, search and draw again. It's a good start. He's probably he, he, he's probably gonna win this game unless we pull off some miracle combos. We'll see though. We still have a draw and upstart, and he does not have back row. Terraforming. Get the draw. So we know he has Sky Iris in hand. We know he, he know we know what we are, yeah we know he has Joker Sky Iris. So he's actually only gonna have one unknown card for us. So we might be able to just play around it good enough. He's gonna have a hope harbinger though. Sky Iris makes us unable to pop something with Eccentric, it's a little unfortunate. That's that's a start, man. That's a good one. Can we kill him? In is the question. Let's see. Let's think. We would have to normal this to pop this, right? We normal this, pop this. We we use monkey. That we pendulum four. No, we have to upstart. We cannot kill him with what we have. That might change. Ooh, do we win? We'll see.
We know his list because he sent it to us, of course. What we actually, what we can do... No, that makes no sense. Does it? Silver Claw. We're going to activate Eccentric. Pop the Sky Iris. Activate Silver Claw. We have to activate Die too. Do we get Trumpeteer? Yeah, we can kill him with Starlight, I think. Scarlight, sorry. Yeah, I think we have to go with the master there. Then... Then we Majester... I don't think it's an OTK. Let's calculate. Um, thirty-eight hundred, fifty-eight hundred. No, it's not because we ups we had to upstart. So we pop this. And we shuffle back this. No, I thought it was eight thousand four hundred fifty somehow. Why did I? How did I miscalculate? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh... Quick harbinger. So we fucked up. It's fine. Missed lethal. Okay, we had him though, we had him. Miscalculated by a thousand. Oh, 
Okay, so we know he has Luster, the Phoenix, and Unicorn. Basically, if he gets to Pendulum Summon, we're dead, okay? So he probably wins. We're gonna make a game three and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> Let's make a game three. We fucked it up. We would have won 2 0 here, but it's fine. Um, it's my fault for miscalculating. Play down that good old pendulum opening. Pendulum Rising is amazing. It's really amazing.
The double donkey draw was a little unnecessary, but the opening was still pretty good. Fadil, ja. Ich will's Batman. So he probably has hamster. Right, that's the only reason why he would do that. It has to be hamster, right? He has to have hamster. Anything else makes no sense. Castell, Dire Wolf. No. Not a bad draw by him, but he still has to avoid dying next turn. I'm not sure if he can. getting kind of screwed here but also not that much because like he doesn't have luster yet so it's not that bad he has to he has to get rid of our board first it would have been really good if we would have drawn into a vector um, with our guitar and lizard draw instead of double donkey like if he would have gotten a vector we would have probably won the game So let's see how he gets over this board. Castell is gone. Can't make uh, last. Uh, cannot make Ignister. He can pop this with Eccentric, and then yeah. That's what he's doing, which this. Yes. 
Why? Why would you not pop Dinoster? Let's see, because we know his deck doesn't play any protection, and he he's he definitely cannot kill us. Um, I think we can OTK next turn. I'm not 100% certain. We will have to see how it plays out. Like, we have to make... Um, does he have a master? No. Master, Sky Iris. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice for him. He can summon them back and make Dinoster. I, what, one thing I don't understand is why he didn't pop Dinoster. Like, if you pop Dinoster, you can use the Master and pop the Turtle here. Just a thought. I guess leaving Magester on the board is a little more dangerous than leaving uh, Dinoster, but okay. I mean, I will get a target for Dinoster, that's not the thing. F0? I mean, we can, um, we can Ignister, so it's no problem. We just Emerald and uh, bring back Ignister into the deck. All right, let's go. Let's OTK. Da, 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 da. Mm. The Noster, bring back Master. Do we have another Master in deck? Yeah, we do. This time we didn't screw up the OTK, so yeah. Um, the deck is good. The Pendulum is still really good. Um, that's gonna be it for the stream today. Just let's, let's just recap the decks real quick. I only have this. So this is what I build in the end. I have no idea if it's like a, a finished build. It's, it was like built on the spot. I don't know. Um, we also tried some. 
Performa Pal, Odd Eyes, Sky Iris stuff earlier. I don't think it's necessary. Um, especially Brilliant Fusion feels like a little bit like Brilliant Fusion and Abductor. Some hands they make really good, some hands they're really bad. I think you should just play something that is a little more consistent, like this maybe. Um, I will work on the deck a little bit more for the next stream. Um, Rector, I had Rector in there, but then people were saying I should play Rescue Rabbit, and when with Rescue Rabbit, I really want to have two vectors, but um, with I don't want to have three Drake Overlords. I think that's unnecessary. Um, yeah, maybe with the maybe maybe Sky Iris is good. Okay, maybe just no Doctor, no. Uh, Brilliant fusion. Maybe you play. Maybe you play Sky Iris. I have to try it out. I will try it out. Um, anyways, thank you all guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for following as usual. Um, feel free to follow if you have not already. Feel free to donate if you like the content of CCG. And um, yeah, next Yu-Gi-Oh stream we're gonna play some more refined lists, some more national preparation. Uh, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone.